All right, well, I think we're rocking and rolling. Here we go. Um, I'm trying to do this as a video blog, so pardon the uh, rudimentary technology. Can you see Love Rocks back there in love? Uh, this is me, Matt Cohen, and um, sending out a Facebook. Let's get this centered. I'll move it over here. Okay, I'm going to look into the camera. Maybe I'll move my chair a little bit. Sorry for all this interruption. So, Matt Cohen, it is uh, June 20th, 2013. Today, I am starting my very first regimen of chemo drugs for this multiple myeloma that I was just diagnosed with eight days ago. I know, it's still a trip. Uh, and by the way, I'm not overly drugged up, but heavily, heavily medicated with some very good uh, advances in modern pharmaceuticology. So um, that being said, uh, first of all, let me just express to all of you who care to be paying attention to this in a sense, again, sorry for the moving around. I'll figure this out. We're going to get better backdrops too, I hope, as, as the show progresses. Um, I love you, and I am so incredibly grateful for you and for this life that I have been given. Uh, as I've said to a lot of you and a lot of uh, folks who've been talking with me over the phone, um, you know, you or me, or what, what pronoun shall I use? Uh, at some point in all of our lives, I think we are faced with a, uh, uh, a line in the sand, a mountaintop to climb, a point to reach, where we really have to ask ourselves, who are we? What do we believe? Uh, what do we hold dear? Uh, what is our life about? And um, that hit me last Wednesday afternoon when, by the way, sorry for the scruff, you know, you can see a lot of scruff and there's a little bruising, I think, right, yeah, right, right down here from where they tried to carve out a piece of this, uh, what was initially a benign mandibular tumor in my jaw and uh, that uh, back up a couple months and I was playing old man soccer, which we love to call it, I love you soccer guys, by the way, but uh, we were playing old man soccer Friday night, we were playing against those bastard red devils. Those guys are tough. We're going to get them. But um, anyway, I got knocked in a soccer game. I fell down. I popped up. It felt like everything hurt inside. I was running and blah, blah, blah. Make a long story short, a couple weeks later, I go to my doctor. I've got a pain in the rib. And by, oh, by the way, I've got this toothache and totally unrelated. And you've got some sort of separation of the cartilage here, she says, and take some Vicodin, which I thought, well, maybe I should separate my cartilage a little more because that's not too bad. And then um, anyway, the jaw was hurting. So I went and saw the dentist. And the dentist takes an x-ray and he says, well, there's some weird cyst or abscess. I want you to go see this uh, oral surgeon. So I went and saw the oral surgeon. He says, yeah, there is a cyst or abscess there. I want you to go back to your primary care doctor and go get an ENT. I went back to my primary care doctor and um, she proceeded to send me to an ENT who told me that while he'd like to help me, that's not really what he wants to do. Excuse me, I have to pick up a pill real quick. I'm about to show you the fun stuff, um, but that's not what he really wants to do. And anyway, um, long story short, he sends me for a CT. They find a cyst. See, I'm still trying to find love, love rocks. They find a cyst in the bone, and um, I end up with this great head and neck guy that we found through our own special magic God-given network. And uh, the head and neck guy, John Campana, great guy, says that we are looking at a benign mandibular tumor. He wants to do this real sexy jaw reconstruction. He's going to take a piece of my fibula. I'm sorry, by the way, for anybody I'm grossing out with too much, you know, HIPAA information and all this stuff. But we are human beings being human. And when you cut away this beautiful face and skin and body and sexiness, um, it gets kind of gross inside sometimes. So that's kind of where we're talking right now at the gross cellular inside level. Anyway, long story short, he sees something in some scans. I was supposed to get an operation July 1st and um, I'm not getting the operation. I'm not getting the operation because last week they detected some lesions in other parts of my body and it turns out it is a multiple myeloma, which is a very rare, sexy blood cancer. I say sexy because, you know, it is all about the love. But um, uh, it's a sexy blood cancer and I am a sexy, rare kind of guy, so it would fit that I would get a sexy, rare cancer. Um, I'm 48 years old. My name is Matthew Cohen, 
and I have lived an incredible life. I didn't cr climb Mount Kilimanjaro. I can look at it on the iPad though and, and maybe experience that in another way now. But um, uh, what I've done over the last course of my life is built a life that I wanted to be about connections, about relationships, really about love. Because growing up very early, to me, what started to crystallize and materialize was that uh, uh, to me, God is love. And I believe God is love, and I believe I'm part of that love, and I believe that God loves me, and God loves all of us, and God loves this entire creation more than we can even imagine. And I believe that I've been given so many gifts, starting with my life. I'm so thankful for my parents, uh, Shep and Jerry Cohen, uh, formerly Jerry, Geraldine Goodman. Um, I'm thankful for this uh, first, first third of my life where I was just this uh, kind of confused kid trying to figure it out like we all are. I'm thankful for that period of my life where I went through wanting to be an actor and to express. And I'm thankful for this last third of my life where all of my greatest dreams uh, came true in building a family with a woman who is truly... Now, if you don't believe in God, you need to meet my wife, Terry, because she is truly a gift from God, and she's God's gift to me. So you can't have her. Um, but uh, actually, the universe is blessed with her. Um, she has been everything and more that I could have ever wanted in a bride. And for the last 16 years together, we have built a family that has been built on and in and around love. I believe that God is pure love, pure spirit, pure perfection. And I believe that we're all cut from that. And I believe that being part of that makes me a part of the great I am that I feel inside me and feel running through all of us. And I call that God. And so last week I was asked very quickly, Matt, what do you believe in? What do you believe in? This is the point I make. I reached that point. I'm at that mountaintop. What do I believe? I believe that this is the best life imaginable. I believe that God is great. I believe that God loves me, loves all of us, and live, and is loving like a river running through, in, and with me, and through all of us. And God is with me and all of us in this. And I believe that I am taking these, and this is the point of kind of all this diatribe today. Um, got these pills. Let me just scroll down. Can you see? Can you see all the pills I have to take? 20 of them. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to do it with you all, uh, videotaping it, because uh, you know what? It's scary, but with you, with love, love rocks, we're going to get this done. So here's the first one. Now, there are 40 of these, these lovely pills, so I apologize. Um, here's the second one. Uh, and we won't, I'll skip ahead. I'm a fighter, people. I'm a fighter and I love life and I love this life and I love you and I am so thankful for you in my life and for the gifts that I've been given and God bless us all, right? So this is the first day, June 20th. Uh, it's going to be a once a week deal. I'm going to go in for a scan here about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm going to get my first shot at three. They're going to do a quick shot in my stomach. And it's scary, and it's unknown, but you know what? Together, together, we're going to rock through this, and um, love does heal, and love is powerful, and God is great, and uh, it's good to be in a place where I can be so incredibly thankful for um, being given the gift to really embrace and know that. And let's remember this. Didn't drop dead of a heart attack. I didn't, you know, I'm not. In a, in a vegetative state, trying to figure out when should we pull the plug. Um, I'm fully here, fully lucid, fully cognizant, fully alive, and loving this life, and loving you. So love me back. Love me, and I'll love you back. Actually, you don't even need to love me back, because I just love you. And uh, I am so thankful to have this moment to share, and to have this moment to share this experience, and and uh, this is helping my courage. So um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, and uh, I'm going to be back in touch again when the moment strikes, but uh, hope this gives everybody an indication who's uh, stuck with it for this long that um, 
my spirits are good and my strength is strong and pretty cool to uh, learn about yourself and this is true for all of us this is true for you this is true for your wife or your husband or your partner or your son or your daughter or your uncle or your aunt this is true for all of us because with God's love and embracing God's love we're a lot stronger than we think we are and in the last week I have shown myself things about myself and uh, opened up new vistas that I never knew existed within myself. And I, as my daughter Chloe, the beautiful Chloe likes to say, I'm a tough squash. So, love you all. Let's rock on. And here we go, chemo ready to kick some cancer ass. Love you people.